Welcome to the Good Morning Minute of Inspiration Podcast with your host, Coach P. Jim Pusateri. Our podcast goal is to bring a little inspiration to the world each and every morning and to help others reach their potential. Each day, we bring you a short inspirational message to kick off your morning along with some words of encouragement that are needed to win the day. We discuss those words of encouragement and spread some insight into developing the mental toughness to succeed in life, business, and athletics. We define mental toughness as the ability to move forward under pressure. I'm Coach P. Jim Pusateri, and I have 30-plus years of experience helping others to succeed in self-improvement, health and wellness programs, along with mental performance. I have developed several startup companies from the ground up, along with being a business and physical education teacher and a head football coach at a high school here in Florida. I use all that experience to teach others how to be successful in life. My passion is helping others reach their potential by moving forward towards success. Our company, Inspirational University, is here to help you prepare to find your dream job, establish lifelong goals, and develop the mental performance to succeed. So let's get this podcast started so we can help you reach your potential. Well, good morning to you out there, Move Forward Nation of listeners. This is Coach P, Jim Pusateri, and I thank you for downloading this episode. It's episode number 1031 in year three of our podcast, The Good Morning Minute of Inspiration. Today's words of encouragement, focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. The whole staircase. Yes, a lot of people see all these stairs and they don't think they can climb them because they're focusing on the whole staircase, not the step-by-step process. And this goes down to life. A lot of people are trying to accomplish some great things in this world, but they look at the big picture. They look at everything that they got to do. They look at it as the massive results at the end. I can't get there. It's just too much. Well, folks, you got to become a goal setter. That's what goal setting is all about. It's breaking it down into a step-by-step process so you can complete a step at a time each and every day and get closer each and every day to everything it is that you want to achieve. That's the secret of goal setting. That's the secret of the three phases of achievement, which are passion, goal setting, and mindset. You see, you got to focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Don't look at the big picture. Look at what it takes to get there one step at a time. It's kind of how we talk when we, we coach our football team. We don't look at the big picture. Yes, we want to win a state championship, but if that's all we were looking at, we'd never get any better. Yes, we want to win the district championship, but if that's all we're looking at, we'd never get any better. Yes, we want to win the game on Friday night, but if that's all we think about and that's all we see, we may not get there. The way to get there is step-by-step through practice, through perfection, through execution. It's a step-by-step process. That's the benefit of being a goal setter. When you become a goal setter, you take your dreams and you write them all down. You put them a, a date on them when you want to achieve them. And then you break them act- or break them goals into action steps. And action steps are, what do I need to do to complete this goal? That's your step-by-step process. You see, now you have developed a blueprint for your life on how to be successful, taking it step-by-step. You see, the reason a lot of people stop or fail and quit because that's the only way you fail is if you quit. A lot of people quit because they look at the big picture instead of looking at the small little steps one day at a time, getting better each and every day, and getting closer to everything it is that you want in this world each and every day. You can do it. You can achieve anything you want in this world. Master the three phases of achievement, passion, goal setting, and mindset. And you will achieve everything it is that you're after in this world. Hey, we're going to take a short little break right now because I want you to hear a message on how you can master the third phase of the three phases of achievement, which is mindset. And mindset is what you need to focus on the next step. 
It's a growth mindset. It's a move forward attitude. It's an attitude that's always asking yourself what's next. And what's next is the next step or the next action step on your goals. That's how you achieve. Focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Hey, we're going to take a short break so you can hear this message on how you can master the third phase of the three phases of achievement, mindset. We'll be back in a moment. It's ready, our latest training course, Mindset, Developing Your Mental Performance. Has your mental game limited your training and performance? Do you struggle with self-doubt and confidence? Is it a constant struggle to maintain balance between your training and other aspects of your life? Let us help you gain control over your mind and thoughts. Our Mindset Developing Your Mental Performance course features 19 lessons and how-to videos showing you how to develop the mental toughness to succeed, the ability to move forward under pressure. This course takes you from how the mind works to self-improvement in developing a positive mindset, improving your concentration, self-confidence, establishing success habits, along with self-discipline and time management lessons. There's bonus lessons on leadership and character skills development. For additional information, Hit the link in the show notes below or go to our website at inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. Get this exciting course today, Mindset, Developing Your Mental Performance. Hey, Coach P here, Jim Pusateri, and we are back at Inspirational University, where we help others reach their potential by preparing them to find their passion in life, their dream job helping them establish lifelong goals, the step-by-step process, and developing the mental performance that's needed to succeed, the mental toughness, the ability to move forward under pressure. Speaking of mental toughness, we have a free booklet out there that we send out to you. It's called The Five P's to Success, and this is part of our mental performance training here. You can get that booklet free of charge. Hit that link in the show notes below. The book is called The Five P's to Success, and the five P's are passion, perception, perspective, progressing, and perseverance. We show you how to use each one of those P's to develop the mental toughness to succeed, the ability to move forward under pressure. Today's words of encouragement, today, or I'm sorry, focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Meaning, folks, quit looking at the big picture and focus on the individual action steps that need to be completed. You can do them one at a time. We tell you to schedule one to five tasks in your day planner each and every day that will help you get closer to your goals. Because you always have to be asking yourself, folks, are you getting closer or farther away from your goals? Are you focusing on what you want in life? Or are you still doing what somebody else thought you could do? Or are you trying to please somebody else? Instead of getting everything it is that you want in this world by controlling your mind. Remember, folks, your mind, its thoughts, that's what controls your mind, your thoughts. And your thoughts control your feelings. And your feelings control your actions. So if you want positive actions, you got to have positive thoughts. So you got to change that negativity that's in your mind each and every day. Remember the researchers say, you have 10,000 to 60,000 thoughts a day, and 80% of those thoughts are negative, and that's what you got to work on. Remember, folks, you have to have a written plan of action if you're going to be able to follow that step-by-step process for your life, that blueprint for your life. Because, folks, what gets scheduled ends up getting done, and you have to have that step-by-step process to get it done. The easiest way we tell you to set goals is to answer three simple questions. What is it you want to achieve? When do I want to achieve it? And where am I today? And what action do I need to take to achieve that goal? Them are called the action steps. When do you want to achieve it is the date that you would like to achieve it. Now, you're not always going to achieve everything on the day that you set out to achieve it. But guess what? If you don't quit, if you don't determine yourself a failure, And keep moving forward and focusing on the next step instead of the whole staircase. You will achieve it. You may not arrive on time, but you will arrive. Yes, you will. 
Part of this takes dedication, concentration, focus. I'm going to give you seven quick steps on how you can improve your concentration, your focus, so you can focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Number one, schedule your day, folks. Yes, at the end of each day, sit down and schedule tomorrow. Every minute of the day, everything that you want to get done, make sure you list the five tasks in there and schedule at least one of them. So you're getting closer to your goals each day. So you're getting 1% better each day. So each night when you go home, you can say that you won the day because you're working towards your achievements. Schedule your day, folks. When you have that time management skills by scheduling your day, you don't have to worry about what to do. It's already planned. So you can relax your mind and get a great night's sleep. Number two is sleep. You got to get at least seven or eight hours of sleep a night. When you reflect before bed, put the day to rest. Have tomorrow scheduled, and you'll have nothing to think about. You'll end up getting your best night's sleep ever. Yes, nothing to stress about. Tomorrow is already scheduled. Number three, you got to have some form of exercise program. Lifting weights, cardio, whatever it is, working your body relieves the mind of its stress. Number four, meditation. You can do this by Taking walks in nature, visualization, reflection. I reflect each and every night before I go to bed. I always ask myself these three questions. What went well today? And I write it down. What went bad today? And I write it down. And then I answer the question. How do I change what went bad so tomorrow it'll go well? Do that. Schedule your day for tomorrow and get that great night's sleep. You can listen to music. That'll relax you. That'll get you focused and concentrated. If that's your thing, you can listen to music. You can doodle. You can just walk. You can take a break. All these things relax your mind. And that's what we're after here. Number six, learn to listen. Folks, I've been doing this stuff for many years, and this is the hardest one for me still. I still have a problem with this. I, I don't listen I, you know, I listen to respond and where you don't want to listen. You need to learn to listen, not to respond. You got to practice this one daily. It's hard. You see, most people listen to respond and they never hear the complete sentence. Practice just listening and you'll be amazed at how this helps relax the mind and improve your concentration and probably solve some problems for you because you heard the whole statement. And now you didn't go off under your own little spiel before you heard the whole thing. I've done it many a times. I start talking in the middle of the thing with the response. And I don't hear the actual problem. Number seven is self-talk. Always positive in. That'll always equal positive out. Folks, you got to change the way you talk to yourself. You can't talk in that negative tone that you talk to yourself. you got to have positive thoughts. We tell you. When you get one of them negative thoughts in your mind, open up your journal, write it down, and then change that thought into a positive statement. And then read that positive statement four to five times throughout the day, and you'll be amazed how you change that mindset. Now, hey, I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to have negative times throughout the day. It happens. But I always say, I don't have a bad day. I have some bad moments. You see, you decide, is today going to be a bad day or isn't it going to be a bad day? Now, yes, you might have some bad moments throughout the day, but when it's all said and done, you determine if it was a good day or a bad day. That's why I can say, honestly, to people who ask me all the time, how's it going today, coach? I always respond, fantastic. It's a great day. And they always say, there's no way, coach, it can be a great day every day. And I say, yes, it can, because you determine if it's a good day or a bad day. Bad moments will happen. Problems are going to happen. Life is nothing more than a series of problems. If you go through life with that attitude, knowing you're going to have problems each and every day, and you schedule time to solve them problems, you got no stress. You're on your way. Today's words of encouragement. Focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. 
Focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Remember now, let's master the three phases of achievement. Passion, goal setting, and mindset. We've got great courses out there for each area or each phase of your life so you can master those. We've recently come out with a package promotion where you can obtain all three of those self-improvement courses and save yourself some money while you're doing it. There's a link in the show notes below if you're interested in purchasing the three courses all at one time. Remember, folks, today's words of encouragement, focus on the next step instead of the whole staircase. Hey, if you would like to have something discussed on our show, maybe you got a favorite quote you'd like us to feature on the podcast, maybe you got a topic idea, hit me up on my email, coachp at inspiringthem.com. That's coachp at inspiringthem.com. Remember, iTunes subscribers, Spotify, leave us a ranking. One star to a five star. It helps promote this podcast out to the rest of the world. If you want to follow today's discussion, you've got questions, comments, or feedback, hit that link in the show notes below. It takes you over to our community forum board, and you can post your comments there. If you're a business owner out there, we'd love to have you sponsor this podcast. We really want to talk about your company, your product, and your service. To our great group of listeners here, the Move Forward Nation of Listeners. Hey, this is Coach P, Jim Pusateri, and my passion is helping others reach their potential by showing them how to move forward towards success. So how can I help you reach your potential? What are you struggling with? Reach out to me today. Have yourself a great day now, and let's move forward, and we'll talk again tomorrow. What are you looking to achieve? Whatever it is, you need to follow the three phases of achievement. Number one, passion. Number two, goal setting. And number three, mindset. Here at Inspirational University, we have created three courses to help you master each area of the three phases of achievement. Number one, passion. The course is called Dream Job, Finding Your Life Passion. This course takes you on a journey in locating your interest and determine what is your passion and how to make it your career so you never work a day in your life. Number two is goal setting, your life blueprint. This is a step-by-step course teaching you on how to establish lifelong goals and how to achieve them so you can move from being a dreamer to a successful goal setter. And number three, mindset, developing your mental performance. Do you struggle with self-doubt and confidence? This course will help you gain control over your mind and thoughts so you can develop the mental toughness to achieve. Mental Toughness, the Ability to Move Forward Under Pressure. These three courses are packed full with how-to videos, lessons, and reference sheets, everything you need to master the three phases of achievement. Number one, passion. Number two, goal setting. And number three, mindset. For additional information on each of these courses, hit the link in the show notes below or visit our website at inspiringthem.com, inspiringthem.com. The Three Phases of Achievement. Number one, passion. Number two, goal setting. And number three, mindset. Get your master course today at inspiringthem.com. That's inspiringthem.com.